What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about homes. Um, that's one of the things that I wanted to bring up. And it's actually going to be a pretty simple video. It's going to be three things that I like about steel combs. And in this case, it's steel tooth combs. They were nice enough to send these out to me here. I've been trying them for several weeks now, and I really do like them. I talked about them on my last video a little bit, but I wanted to make a quick review about what I think about them. So let's jump into number one. The first thing I really like about them is that they have very little tug or pull to them. So yes, tug and pull still exist. That's not gonna go away magically. But what happens is with something like this, a plastic comb, as you could tell, is going to be very flexible, kind of the, the teeth move around a lot. Compared to something like this, is not, that's not going anywhere. This doesn't move at all. So the reason that helps against thick hair or when you, if you get a lot of frizzy like tug and pull, so if you get to a part where it bends, the comb itself bends and kind of makes it a slower pull, a little bit more painful because pulls it slowly and just kind of gets through it barely. And then you have to go through it again if you didn't get it the first time. So that's you like, how is this hair though? I'm, I'm confused. How is this? hair um let's not let's not do that again so it's like pulling off a band-aid slowly compared to something like this that does not move and has any give when you run it through your hair and you hit a point of persistence it basically goes right through it and yes you get the a little bit of tug or pull through it but it just goes right through it without bending and it's like ripping off a band-aid real quickly where it's just a quick little thing and it you know works very well to be honest i didn't know how much of a big issue that was until i was doing it and i was like oh that feels a lot better and I, and I deal with that a lot especially because my hair gets frizzy and now it takes us to number two which is going to be the craftsmanship or quality of these combs these are pretty awesome they're pretty durable comparing it to again something like this which this is to be honest with you this is the comb I was using before again you would think that with a video like this or a channel like this I would have better combs so I just didn't know what I was missing out on and uh yeah this is this is not uh, something I would recommend uh, but it is something that of course is a lot more durable if you notice this will bend these I've, there's so many of these that I've broken and just have missing teeth and I would still use them the thing here if you notice is that it does get some like gunk and like you know you get some like stuff right here and you have to really kind of take that off you can't just get like a wipe to it and just take it off it's still because of the the ridges it kind of gets stuck in there and uh, yeah, it's it's something that I always notice that they always kind of get dirty and they kind of get like gunk there. However, something like this, since it's flat, there's no ridges, it just kind of wipes right through it. So yes, it still will get dirty and you'll notice that if you use pomade and product, it'll get some smudges on there, but nothing really uh, to the point where you'll get any like gunk in the middle of this. It wipes off pretty quickly and pretty easily. And I've used it for several weeks now and it still looks pretty Awesome. I thought it was going to get like really scratched up and like nasty looking, but it looks pretty good still. This It also has uh, some hemp cordage, I believe it's what it's called, which is what you see here. It has their their logo right here and everything, but this kind of gives you a little bit more grip and it does give you some, um, they come in different colors. So that's pretty cool there. So overall, number two is going to be that, that quality and the craftsmanship of these combs, they have a lot of benefits to them. Then that takes us to number three, and number three is something that I had no idea that was a very common thing. I genuinely thought that I was the only one that ever had this, which is static. This has so much static. I would use it, I would, especially if you apply pomade, um, and I, it's weird, like it would just kinda like, I could hear it crackle. Reading into it, it seems like that could also cause your hair to like, to snap or something. Uh, I don't know, it's just something that I didn't know was a thing, but it genuinely was something that would annoy me about doing my hair, and I didn't know that, I thought it, I never told anyone because I genuinely thought it was just like something weird with my hair. But apparently a lot of people have or get static. Again, I didn't know that was a big thing, so that's why that's number three is just and a bonus, which is number four. This is, when you put them down, this is the sound, the sound they make. It sounds like an anime ninja sword. That's my opinion. By the way, quick story. Um, I was a huge, like, I would watch Dragon Ball, like, when I was, like, getting home from school and watch, like, all the reruns or whatever. I was, like, a huge fan of the original series, but I kind of never kept up with, like, the new stuff. I felt like the biggest, 
like poser like I've ever felt in my life because I was wearing this hoodie and somebody came up to me and started talking to me about all the new episodes and new things that were coming out and I was just just genuinely like I'm, I'm sorry man like I, I don't know uh, and, and like the disappointment in this guy's face to my defense I did like the original OG you know cartoon I just Never really kept up with the new stuff. And um, am I doing the same thing as the people that wear bands shirt that they don't know? Um, or is it just, I need you guys to validate the fact that I can wear this uh, this hoodie. Anyways, that's a, that's a completely different rant. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I got today. Anyways, links will be description down below. Check those out. Also again, don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's at jthecyborg. I'll put a link down there. Did my pineapple turn off? There we go. Nice. Okay. Pineapple is back on. Now I could sign out. Of course, I want to make sure I'm crystal clear. Uh, the, the links down below, of course, if you use them, uh, they, I will get a small commission off of that. So, uh, but this video is not sponsored by them. They just sent it to me. So it was really nice for them, but I genuinely do recommend them. Of course, if you're completely in a budget, I wouldn't say you absolutely need them. You can get away with something like, you know, I spent so much money on plastic combs that I feel I could have saved money on if i would have bought that a long time ago so anyways so anyways that's it today guys uh i was i was gonna say i'll see you guys next week but i'm gonna make another video to make up for the one that should be uploaded this week so keep an eye out for that it's gonna be pretty good thanks mm -hmm.